And finally on today's show, we're going to talk about the new Divergent film, Allegiant, which we've given some really strange names to, like detergent and, you know, all Accountant. that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. This one is called Allegiant. Uh, it's the third in the series. We're going to hear now from Shailene Woodley about the film and stuff. Tris chooses to go outside of Chicago because A, she feels like it's in her destiny, and B, um, Chicago can't offer her um, what it used to be able to offer her. She doesn't have family anymore. Her brother betrayed her. She has four, but you know, politically and socially and economically, the entire system is breaking down. We are now joined by Half Sesamir. Hi. Uh, a Divergent fan. Yes. So you've read the books. No, I haven't read the books. Oh, but you've seen, um, you've seen the films. I've seen the films and I've read half of Divergent, um, okay. but studies got in the way and I just didn't have time to read it. And you would consider yourself a fan? Uh, yes. A, bi- a big fan? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, you have not seen Allegiant though? No, I'm yet to see it. But we are going to try and sell it to you-ish. We're, yes. We're, we're going to try and describe it to you and then you can make your mind up okay. as to whether. I mean, you're probably still going to go see it anyway, regardless of what we say. Yeah. But, yeah. And, yeah. and we, should, we should also mention that you're on the, uh, the Northern Lights show. Yeah. Which is Mondays at... Mondays at three o'clock. Um, me and my co-host Bradley Bolch, we talk about films, music, TV, the arts in the Northeast. Cool. Let's do Allegiant then. Sweet. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, Allegiant is the third Divergent film. One more to go after this. Ascendant, I think we Ascendant, decided yeah. upon together. That's the, and then uh, it picks up after Insurgent. This time we've got Tris back again, played by Shillene Woodley, who I'm, I'm a really big fan of. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, yeah, you know, she's, a, she's a really good actress. And uh, four, played by Theo James. Once they're outside of Chicago at the end of the last one, they end up meeting new characters, including Jeff Daniels' David, who may not entirely be trusted. Um, mm. You know... D- Divergent as a series, you know, it's th- there's clearly some decent stuff in there, but and, and the cast are really talented. Like I said, Chilean Woodley's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in White Burner Blizzard, as you said earlier in the show, that's a really good film from last year that I do rate. And Theo James is really good as well. But I mean, the it just the concepts just so continually nonsensical, and and the scripts are just so pedestrian and and boring. I mean, it's been it's been three films now, and it's just it is just painfully boring and really selling it. V- vanilla. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best way to put it. Really I mean, it. it's just. I just I, I really don't care for it. It's, there's nothing amazing in there. It just sort of exists, and you know, out, I mean, we've seen all of the Hunger Games films now mm-hmm. from last year. And as as a, as a young adult series, it's leagues ahead of Divergent because it, it seems to have something that the Divergent series is missing. That sort of extra hook or that sort of you know a certain edge to it that that um, Divergent is missing. And although I mean, like I said, there are some good stuff in there. I think Shalane Woodley and Theo James are really really great together. They're really good, but I, do, I just don't think they're given much to work with. Sadly, Shalane Woodley's that, given pretty much nothing to work with. No, in this I mean, one. in this one, she's sidelined in its own franchise. Mm-hmm. Just essentially sidelined. I know we're not really selling this, but this is no. kind of. What I it love was. how um, sorry. you started this piece with "We're really going to sell it to you," and then I'm like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's yeah, not I'll, that I'll, good." I'm trying to give Liam a look. I didn't make any you can't. Okay, the thing is, right? You can, you can, you can slander it as much as you want, but I love Divergent. Hmm. Um, Hunger Games. It's funny enough. I wasn't as invested in Hunger Games as I was um, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, mm-hmm. uh, or, or as you guys call it, Detergent. Detergent. Yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're just seeing uh, various words d- that d- ends with ant or Deterg- <laughs> Detergent really does make sense because this film is really soapy. Yeah. Boing. You're proud of that yeah. one. You will yeah. not really get jokes that like that on the Northern Night Show. No, we're as cheesy as we're cheesy. Yeah. We're uh, cheesy. Um, no, but I'm just I. It's one of those things that, mm. like, you know, when you're sitting Saturday night and like, I don't know what to watch, but ooh, Divergent sounds really good. Mm. It's one of those films that I always go back to, and I just love it. I love the concept of the factions and factionless, and the fact that both uh, Tris and oh my god, what's her brother called? I can't remember. Oh, Caleb. 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 Yeah, um, Caleb. I love how they both went into different factions in the mm. first one, and it just adds, you know, this whole yeah, thing to it. I, thing. I don't really know how to word it, but it's dynamic. Just, yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My journey with the series is that I quite, I, I thought the first one was fine. I was sort of interested because of the whole, in, in the same way I was interested in the first Hunger Games, so it was kind of getting to know the universe and yeah. going through the train and stuff. Yeah. And then when it kind of got into the world of the stuff, it kind of just really got a bit stupid. Point. And then yeah. th- th- this one I thought was especially stupid and not subtle in its messages at all, like the sort of putting up the walls and making sure everyone's in their right, you know, pigeonholes and stuff. It's very, you know, it, it's very true of what kind of situation we've got in America at the minute with a certain wall. Um, and I, I, it's, it it didn't really... I, I, th- I, th- I think it could be smarter than this. I think the audience would still get it. I didn't, it don't need to be this kind of spoon-fed as it was. But it's can pati- I just... Particularly say, in though, this one. Yeah, go on. I think 
that I remember, didn't you? I'm sure you messaged me as you were watching Divergent and you watched them all like one after the other. Yeah, yeah. Whereas me, I watched Divergent and then I had to wait for Insurgent. Mm. And that anticipation made me really excited and more invested in it because when you're invested in something, you research it, you're like, I want to know spoilers, I want to know whatever. And then the same with the Legion, I do it like another, it was less than a year, but mm-hmm. pretty much there. And I was like, I'm so excited. And then you messaged me, Legion wasn't that good. And I'm like, I don't think what? I said. I, I, I don't think I said not that good. I'm sure I said something worse than that. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to say it on here, no. am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I, I, I was not a big fan of this film. I thought it was quite boring, and I, I'm. I think it's kind of dramatically decreased in quality mm-hmm. over the over the three. I think from, it's been from, steady. From, from from quite like in the first one to being just sort of really bored by this. Steadily one. average. But there's only one film left to go. I have to say, if you see the film this week, could you maybe come and? share your thoughts next week yes i would love to we'll do that so look for that next week then we'll have more divergent stuff from, from somebody who'll probably like it a bit more than us with me no i'm not very awesome. important but i i give good ratings <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know everybody's you guys don't important know, I'm on this show <laughs> she, i'm dancing with a cup of tea i don't know i, I can't confirm <laughs> she is excited. dancing with a cup of tea excited to see allegiant girls so, yeah. just want to have fun <laughs> <laughs> That, that classic Cindy Lope song. Cindy Lope. <laughs> Make right. sure you tune in to the Northern Lights show on Monday at three o'clock yes, with Hafsa. And Bradley. And Bradley. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.